Lord Yahweh spake to me some more about the Levites and Brother Aaron. Lord Yahweh told me to tell the Levites to be in Brother Aaron's service and kill anyone who comes to the tent who isn't supposed to. And Lord Yahweh told me that the Levites stood symbolically for the firstborn sons that we're all supposed to give to Lord Yahweh because the firstborn sons belong to him. But Lord Yahweh said he would take the Levites instead of the firstborn because that's how Lord Yahweh rolls. You remember when he killed all those firstborn kids in Egypt, don't you? Lord Yahweh said, I am the Lord. So even though Lord Yahweh told me not to count the Levites before, he told me to count the Levites now. Gershon, whose clans were Libni and Shimei, his clans numbered 7,500, and their leader was Eliasaf. They were responsible for Lord Yahweh's tent, curtains, robes, and coverings. Kohath, whose clans were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. His clans numbered 8,600, and their leader was Elizaphan. They were responsible for the sanctuary, the ark, the table, the lampstand, altars, and they answered directly to Eleazar, son of brother Aaron. Merari, whose clans were Malai and Mushai. His clans numbered 6,200, and their leader was Zurael. They were responsible for the frames, crossbars, posts, and bases. Me and my brother Aaron camped on the east side of Lord Yahweh's special tent. Anyone who approached Lord Yahweh's special tent, who wasn't supposed to be there, would be killed. And the total number of Levites was 22,000. Since Lord Yahweh said the firstborn belonged to him, and then Lord Yahweh said he would take the Levites in place of the firstborn, but the number of Israelite firstborn outnumbered the numbers of Levites, Lord Yahweh told me to tell the people that they had to buy back the extra firstborn sons from Lord Yahweh. Each of your male squalling brats are worth exactly five doubloons to Lord Yahweh. Lord Yahweh spake to me again, and he told me to count the Kohathites between the ages of 30 and 50 who were responsible for all of Lord Yahweh's sacred things inside the special tent, like the ark and the lampstand, and to cover all of these special things. The Kohathites are to cover the ark when Lord Yahweh said to move his people. They are to wrap the ark and lampstand in blue and scarlet cloths and durable leather and put the lamp in a carrying frame. They must not touch Lord Yahweh's holy stuff or they will die. Lord Yahweh told me and brother Aaron to keep special watch over those Kohathites so they don't even steal a glance at Lord Yahweh's holy stuff or they will die. Lord Yahweh didn't want the Kohathites to die and he told me to tell brother Aaron that the Kohathites needed to be watched. The Kohathites numbered 2,750. Lord Yahweh spake to me again, and he told me to count the Gershonites that were from 30 to 50 years of age. Their job was to carry Lord Yahweh's special tent, the curtains, the ropes, and equipment. They are to take orders from Brother Aaron and to listen to Ithamar the priest. The Gershonites number 2,630. The Merarites are also to be counted from those 30 to 50 years in age. Their special job is to carry the frames, crossbars, posts, and bases of Lord Yahweh's special tent. They are also to listen to Ithamar and Brother Aaron. The Merarites were 3,200. All those men were counted and they did their special jobs assigned to them by Lord Yahweh. Hey minions, you made it to the end I see. Sorry for the Looney Tunes snorry fest there. To summarize this first reading of numbers, G-Man told Looney Tunes and his Looney Tune brother to count all the people who had a bunch of unpronounceable names, like Thor and Oakenshield and his brothers Dory, Ori, Sneezy, and Snorri. Then, he told them to arrange them by tribes around the camp, and give certain Israelites certain jobs to do, and if they didn't do those jobs right, 
It was death by Deus Ex Machina. That sounds pretty unpleasant. Tune in next time when Looney Tunes tells us all about priestly duties, tabernacle consecration, and unfaithfulness. Ugh.